Hello everyone. Well, if you live in the UK and have a television set, you can't have failed to see at least half a dozen GTEC TV commercials. Now, I hardly ever watch live TV anymore. I normally watch catch up. Most of the TV viewing I do is on YouTube. But when I do occasionally watch television live, <laughs> inevitably a GTEC commercial comes up. So I can understand a lot of you are pretty fed up with seeing Nick Gray and his dog. But anyway, I've been brainwashed, even though I've only seen them a few times, I decided to go for the latest GTEC. So inside this box, I bought the bundle, which was uh, a big saving on buying them separately. I've got um, a GTEC Air Airam K9 and the GTEC Multi K9 in here. It's a long time. I did the original GTEC Airam a long while ago on my channel. So it was time I thought, let's, let's see what GTEC have to offer nowadays. So we get both instruction books, obviously the Air Ram and the Multi. Now, to be honest, I've pre-charged these because um, I've done demos or unboxing videos of cordless cleaners before and I've been halfway demonstrating them and the batteries have conked out. So I have made sure that both batteries are fully charged but it's been a couple of weeks, so hopefully they've retained their charge. So first out of the box, and I'll be doing separate demonstration videos on these cleaners. So here we have the Air Ram, the latest Air Ram. It does have some um, LED lights on it, I believe, as well. It's got uh, the air lock feature, which is supposed to pick up dirt from in between grooves on your hard floor quite stiff brushes and I believe these end pieces are metal I think that's what they say there's some metal parts in here that aren't on the gen um, the regular uh, air ram cleaner it's supposed to make it a little bit more durable for cleaning up pet hair so uh, that's the main unit it's got to take some bits off it need to attach the handle of course now unlike the original air ram that I owned we have the on off switch actually here on this model instead of halfway up the handle. So that's uh, the base unit of the Air Ram. Uh, this is the multi because obviously the Air Ram is only suitable really for carpets and hard floors. It is possible to clean stairs with it as well. But for everything else, for your car and your upholstery and your curtains, we now have the GTEC Multi. Now I was a bit disappointed to discover, because I know on the original Multi there was an inbuilt hose, so you could pull out the front and there was a flexible hose so you could get into your nooks and crannies. This doesn't have it, unfortunately. You can buy the optional car kit which consists of a hose and um, a dusting brush and another nozzle I think, as well as a storage bag, but it's quite expensive for what it is. I think it's 40 to 50 pounds. If I can see that going cheap, I'll certainly get one, but I'm not paying that for it. To be honest, it should have come in this bundle, I would have thought, but anyway. So there's the unit, the multi-unit itself for the handheld jobs. And because it's the pet version, the canine version, we've also got, take that off, a motorized brush here for picking up pet hair from your upholstery, your pet bedding, your stairs, etc. It's also good for doing your footwells of your car and your car mats, give you a bit more agitation. You can actually remove that, uh, the brush. Obviously things need to be removed when you're clearing up after pet hair because hairs can get tangled round. But this comes out and I'm assuming it'll be the same on the Air Ram as well. I'll look into everything, of course, in more detail in each demonstration I do, each individual demo that you will be seeing coming up on my channel. So this does have other tools as well. There is um, a little crevice tool built in. So that's good for your nooks and crannies and down the sides of your chairs and inside your car and that stores on board here so that's handy i'm not sure if it comes oh yes it does come with some other tools as well which i'll have a look at that fits in there but of course you can put the motorized head that fits onto the front and we should have power so uh, let's have a judge of the suction oops sorry about that
It's powerful enough. I don't think it's sort of Dyson V8 suction, but uh, it should do the job. What this has that a Dyson V8 doesn't have is a little LED light you can see here. Now it doesn't look much at the moment because I'm using bright lights to film this video, but when you're cleaning in dark corners, for example, if you wanted to clean out your drawers or the bottom of your built-in wardrobes, I can imagine that little light will come in very useful to show you where the dirt is. Now also, when I turned the machine on, I noticed a pleasant odour emitting from the machine. Now this, being the canine version, has some fragrance tablets. And there's one to show you. Let's see, let's take the bin off. So here's the bin, and at the top of the bin, and this is the same with the Air Ram too, you get these little capsules. You can buy replacements direct from GTEC online. I'm not sure if I get any spares. I think I do, I'll check in the box. But they've got quite a nice sort of lavender smell. As I said, I don't know how long they'll last, but they fit into there. And this is the bin. So it just pulls out the machine, as you saw, and you empty it despite releasing the catch and there is a foam filter in the middle you also get a spare filter for this and you get a spare filter for the air ram in this bundle so that's always good i'm glad there is a spare filter because when you're washing one filter when you're leaving it to dry you can put the other filter in so you, you don't have to be without your air ram of songs of course if you've got it charged up so uh, that fits into there quite like the color scheme Quite uh, attractive, it's got gloss and matte black and lime green accents. I'll peel all that packaging off later. And there's, there's the battery that pops out and you can charge it. There's a little charging port just there. You can charge it like this. You can put that on the side or you can actually charge it when it's inside the cleaner as well, I believe. What have I done? That's wrong. Which way does it go? I should have, should have watched what, oh, there we go, it is right. There we go, that clicks in. And there is a battery indicator as well on the side. Just turn it on, you should be able to see it. So as you can see, it is fully charged. As, as it, um, the battery depletes, obviously the lines will deplete and you'll know you're nearly running out when you've only got one line showing. So yeah, it's quite comfortable to hold. So as I said, I'll be doing a proper demo of that separately. Um, you also get this little dusting brush that fits onto the end. Now, I'm not sure if this is right. I did look at this earlier. Um, and if it is right, I'm not that happy about it. But you, you only seem to get one charger. So obviously this will charge up the batteries of the Air Ram and the Multi. But I, I just think it's a little much. I mean, if I was to buy these separately, I would have got separate chargers. And I would have thought the bundle should have had two chargers in it because, you know, you might need to charge up both batteries at the same time. So that's a little bit of a negative point. But I'm going to check, actually, I might have, it might be missing from mine. I don't know. But uh, so far, I've only found one. But anyway, that's the charger that you plug into the wall to charge up both units. Here is the spare foam filter, that is for the Air Ram. And here is the spare filter for the Multi. And it's also got one of the air fresheners already in it. Now I believe the Air Ram does have the air freshener as well. It must fit somewhere else. But uh, so there's the two spare filters. So that is a big thumb up to have spare filters. I think all manufacturers that supply vacuums with a washable filter should really supply a spare set. It can't cost them very much. Uh, here we go, we've got, uh, whoops, one, two, three, four. Four spare capsules, fragrance capsules. So that's good. And we've got the handle for the air ram. Obviously that's the upper part of the handle. On the lower part. There we are, GTEC K9. So I think that's everything out of the box. I'll double check. Yes, so that is that is a shame. So that's a big thumbs down to GTEC for only supplying one charger with this. 
I'll go online. You, I expect they do sell these on their website. I'll just have to see how much they cost. But really, in the bundle, I think they should have provided two. So let's assemble the handle onto the air ram. So this is the lower handle with GTEC K9 written on it. So I think we have to put the handle part here in the upright position. And you've got to make sure that this piece here is sticking out. So if it's pushed in, make sure you pull it out. And then you're supposed to locate this. Now it says in the instructions, locate this metal part. Now <laughs> it's metal colored, but I'm pretty sure that's plastic. It doesn't feel metal to me. It's not cold like metal, but it might be, I don't know. Just looks and feels a bit plasticky. So hopefully it is metal, it says it is. So you have to insert that with the handle facing front, just into the hole like that, that's located. And then to lock it in place, we need to push the green tab in, make sure it's still located. Push that fully home. In my instructions, it actually shows this lower handle in two parts, but it was already assembled in my box. So if yours is in two parts, you just need to push this part into the lower part with the handle here, the carry handle facing front. And finally, we need to insert the upper handle into the lower handle this way round with the smooth part at the front and this ridged part towards the back of the cleaner. So it should just be a question of pushing it in until it locks in position. The AirRam has a filter that GTEC suggests you clean at least once a month or more depending on usage. So to access the filter, you of course have to remove the bin first. And the filter is located here in the middle of the bin. So just lift it out. And this is the part you need to wash. So that comes away from the inner shroud. You can rinse the shroud as well under running water. But again, with the shroud and the filter, make sure it is 100% dry before putting back into your machine. But obviously with my set, I did get the spare filter. So while this one's drying, I can just insert the spare one. And this is also where you'll find the fragrance capsule. So obviously don't wash it with a capsule in place take the capsule out first. If the capsule has lost its odor, obviously you can put a new one in at the same time as a clean filter. So that fits in to the end and pop that back onto there. It doesn't say about being able to wash this out. So I wouldn't recommend putting any running water through this. There's no other way I don't think of cleaning this more thoroughly. Not sure if this part comes out is actually screwed into position so but hopefully the little bar here that cleans the shroud as you empty should keep everything fairly clean in there but as I said there doesn't really seem to be a way of dismantling this for a more thorough clean so I wouldn't recommend doing that anyway so that's the filter maintenance not a lot to do with that so then pop it back in the cleaner until it clicks to clean the brush roll, you'll find it easier if you place the air ram on its side. Press down on the button and remove the brush roll from the unit, like that. Now you've got full access, so if there's hairs wrapped around it, you can use a pair of scissors, cut along in several places, and then pull off the hair. You can also use this opportunity to make sure that the area where the brush roll is seated is nice and clean. And then once you've done that, locate the brush roll at the bottom with this little velour strip uppermost and then just push it back until the button pops out through the hole. As I mentioned earlier, I will be doing separate demonstration videos on both these cleaners, but before I end the video, I've put down a load of dirt on my carpet just to give the air ram a first test and to get my initial reactions. So let's give it a go. Pass the cleaner forward and back through the middle. Quite impressive performance from a cordless cleaner with only two passes, but it has left quite a lot of the fine stuff here. Um, I can see loose leaf tea still in the pile and some of the other smaller particles. It's got the majority of it up, but in two passes that wasn't enough to remove everything. Possibly two more passes and all the other debris will be picked up. 
Let's quickly see how the K9 Multi performs. Again, that's pretty impressive for a cordless cleaner. In fact, I think it's done slightly better than its bigger brother. There's still a few of the tiny particles left, but I'm sure another couple of sweeps and that should be gone. Well that's about the end of my unboxing and initial first look at the GTEC AirRam K9 and the GTEC Multi K9. Just before I go, let's have a look at all the dirt that the AirRam has managed to collect. Let's see how clean the emptying system is. Well, by removing the bin, oh, as you can see, it did actually drop some of the debris out of the bin, but it was rather full. I probably have overfilled it. It was rather a lot of debris to pick up in one go, but uh, let's empty it out anyway. Open up the end, push the lever. <laughs> Not quite as clean as it looks on the TV commercials, but as I said, it's rather an excessive amount of dirt to pick up in one go. I will be doing a bit more realistic demonstration when I'm using this normally. Well, the bin's quite dirty. I'll have to give that a bit of a wipe before putting it back in the machine, but it's picked everything up here, so it hasn't done a bad job. While I'm making a mess, I might as well empty the multi. So I'll just pull the container away. And then we just have to release the little tab at the bottom. Give it a shake, a tap. Now with this one, a little bit more to clean unfortunately because there seems to be a lot more debris around the middle section where the filter is so I might have to remove that yes as you can see with the multi for that um, large amount of dirt picked up in one go a lot of it there is on the filter well not a lot but a fair amount so we'll have to tap that filter clean or give it a bit of a wash but you know I've picked up a rather a lot of dirt in one go for regular use. I don't think the filter will get that dirty so quickly, but I'll find out when I'm using both these cleaners in my home when I do my trial. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about these machines, please ask in the comments section below. If you don't subscribe, please do so and click the bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload the demos of both of these cleaners. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.